What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on NEO stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on a price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news uh, that probably might drive the price of this asset higher. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here, at this very point, uh, when this asset uh, hit uh, uh, about $19.08 mark. And I've told you that because of uh, the recent price action, most likely we should retest the range of about $17.95. And it is the confluence uh, from support and resistances of the price action that we had previously. And the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement range, if I pull the Fibonacci retracement too from the swing low of $11.75, to its swing high at $24.3. And uh, this uh, range is the range of potential support, uh, where a lot of ALGA trades uh, started to enter their new position. And my main assumption was that from this range we should have at least a bounce. We should hit this range and we should have at least a bounce. And it happened exactly as I predicted. As you can see, we hit it for the first time. We had this breakout on the extended hours. Then we bounced back and retested for the second time. And for now we have this movement to the upside that probably should hold. And what should we expect next from the price section? I will show you in my technical analysis, but for now let's continue with the fundamental news. So, first of all, let me show you this article. We are on uh, motlyfull.com and this article was published on uh, August 23rd. And it says, why NEO stock tumbled today? And the key points are following. NEO is expanding into Europe as planned. Yet investors fear NEO could face a slowdown in its primary market. And I completely agree with this statement, uh, because uh, let me show you, we have another set of uh, data of uh, their uh, sales. And let me show you this article. We are on electricvehicles.com and uh, this article was published just yesterday and it's titled Here are Chinese sales uh, figures from August uh, 1st to 21st. BYD, Tesla, NIO, Xpeng and more. And let me show you this uh, table. As you can see, NIO is on the fifth place with about 6,140 vehicles sold from August 1st to August 21st. And uh, it uh, moved higher from its previous uh, data. Let me show you that previously NIO was on the eighth place with 4,102 vehicles from August uh, vehicles sold uh, from August 1st to August 15th. And definitely uh, it uh, overtook uh, some uh, other manufacturers like Xpeng, but uh, all in all, uh, this data is quite weak. And uh, let me show you this uh, uh, information. Uh, Xpeng and NIO are underperforming when compared to the previous month of July. In July, NIO and Xpeng delivered uh, 10,052 vehicles and 11,524 vehicles, respectively, representing a decline between 22 and 25 percent month over month. And if uh, this uh, trend will continue, definitely NIO will uh, sell less than 10,000 vehicles and definitely it might hurt uh, its financials. But uh, on the other hand, let me show you that um, uh, this uh, table shows the NIO institutional ownership and green bars represent uh, the institutional ownership itself and uh, black line represents the price of NIO. And as you can see, in August 2022, we have a small increase uh, in the number of institutional ownership uh, from uh, the previous month. And uh, it is uh, the, uh, let me show you, fifth uh, highest month of institutional ownership ever, right after March, uh, April, May and June. And definitely, if this trend continues, uh, despite of the lower prices, we might have uh, the increase in the institutional ownership that will uh, overtook uh, the highest uh, month of April. And uh, this will uh, drive the price of NEO higher. And let me show you some news uh, that might be a long-term catalyst for NEO. First of all, let me show you that uh, NEO ships first ES7 production vehicles from Haifei plant, delivers to begin on August 28th. And the subtitle is the 7, the first SUV based on NEO's second generation NT uh, 2.0 platform, will start deliveries across China on August 28th. And definitely, uh, right before the new launch of uh, the vehicle, of the new model, a lot of uh, manufacturers 
decrease uh, their existing production rates and decrease uh, their uh, sales because a lot of people just waiting for new models. And I have to say that ES7 is not uh, the only model that will be launched in near future. The second model is uh, definitely the ET5 model and uh, these two models might drive for their sales uh, higher. On top of this news, let me show you that uh, NIO sends first ET7s to Europe on two vessels instead of one. This means uh, they probably anticipate much higher sales uh, in Europe because of uh, two vessels was sent uh, instead of one. And uh, let me show you that right now a NIO seen transporting ET7 sedans across Europe. And this article was published just uh, several hours ago. And uh, a lot of people are seeing these vehicles in Netherlands, Belgium and Norway. And definitely, right before the uh, new model launch, uh, a lot of uh, customers just uh, are waiting for the new information. And uh, they decide uh, whether or not uh, they should wait uh, to buy their vehicles. And uh, because of this, uh, probably this decrease in sales uh, in uh, August uh, might not be so significant for NIO on a bigger picture. That's why we have to rely on our own due diligence and we have to rely on the technical analysis. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis itself. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, what should we expect next? As I already mentioned in my previous video, we have for this range of resistance, this sloping line and this range of support. And uh, probably we have uh, something like descending triangle. If uh, we'll have another touch of uh, this range of resistance and then we'll touch this range of support, definitely will form the descending triangle that usually breaks to the downside. But on the other hand, we have quite bullish setup. If I connect this top, this one, and project it to this uh, range of support, this channel uh, is a bullish channel. And uh, usually this channel breaks to the upside. And if it happens, first of all, we should break this first sloping line. And then we should break uh, this channel to the upside with increasing volume. And if it happens, it will be a major sign for institutional investors. And it will be a major sign for the investors uh, that uh, put their money for the long period of time, more than five years. Because uh, from its lowest point, we will form, we will officially form higher highs and higher lows. And if it happens, uh, definitely, most likely, we might see much higher price targets. And the next range of resistance is $34.75. And I have to say that uh, just uh, recently, Deutsche Bank uh, set its new price target for NIO and they set it uh, at uh, $45 per share. Definitely, it is a huge upside potential from current uh, range. And because of this, uh, if you want to invest in this asset, just accumulate on every daily red candle. And despite of uh, the volatility that might uh, hit even lower targets, if you are a long-term holder, this asset will bring you a lot of uh, profits in the next uh, 12 to 18 months. So. I think from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stay